Welcome back guys to Dust and Elysian Tale where we gained ourselves some skills last episode as we started the game. I'm pretty much playing through the introductory tutorial at the moment. So let's get moving on towards this village that Dust seems to recognize. There's more monsters coming at me at the moment. It's not going to be an easy trip is it? Well, let's get rid of this one first and foremost. The ones with the big spiky maces. They can go away as far as I'm concerned. It seems big hits like the grabs are really what I want to be doing if I want to take things out nice and fast. But apart from that, we got breakable walls here. I'll take some mysterious wall chicken for some nice healing. Take down that one as well. Alright. So what's down here? More treasure keys. Not bad. Well, we might need them in the future for any more treasures that we find. Luckily, we've been finding all that we could, but there's still hoops that we don't seem to be able to go for at the moment. I guess that's mainly because... Let's get out there with the crazy abilities. Because we'll have to get skills before we can really head back and do things, but... At the moment, we're just bashing our way through. I guess there's going to be a lot of backtracking, really, when you think about it. As a Metroidvania type game has, in general. Right, out of the way, you guys. I don't want to get hit at all. In fact, now I'm being really wary and ducking out as soon as someone comes near me. Seems doing into any grab combo is the best way to do things. Oh, and leveling up as well is never bad. Right, should I get ourselves some more attack or some more defense at the moment? Focus on keeping myself alive, because at the moment it doesn't seem like much of an issue to defeat my foes. And hopefully we'll be able to get some more weapony type stuff in the future. So more defense for now, considering our difficulty level. Come on out here, guy. We need to be beaten up so we can escape and continue onwards. Treasure around yet again. Be nice to know exactly where it was. I guess Fidget can only tell us a little bit. I don't want to get caught in anyone's trap there, so let's back off a little. And continue on to get ourselves a big chain and a nice 36 bonus experience. Let's try and level up again. Or get ourselves some new skills. Aerial Dust Storm. Hold Y mid jump to fly through the air, target enemies from afar. Oh, I got hit because I was jumping around. Of course, I'm going to need to back off for that. Uh. And aerially, I can keep flying upwards, and wow! Still some nice damage there, though. I think the 25 defense actually managed to protect me quite a bit from whatever hit I took. Maybe it's a good idea to go defense first. Maybe I'll stick to a defense-minded player, because I always have been that type of game player anyway. Oh, hello. Let's suck you into my dust storm of doom. I think taking out quite a lot of them in the process. Hit chain. And the thunder and lightning flashing. Let's keep taking them down bit by bit. There's another group taken care of. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should go for attack on the next level up. We'll see if we fight ourselves some stronger monsters or if we can't... Ooh, what's up there? Got to check out everywhere after all. Nothing on that ledge. Whoa, the monsters respawn, that's for sure. Ah! A treasure key, that is definitely something that we want. I guess the monsters can't give chase then. Still, treasure chest, whatever this is, the wall is reinforced with a powerful alloy. Something explosive should do the trick. So you say, so you say. We'll open this in the meantime. Any cool treasures in here? Nice attack type equipment or something like that would be brilliant. There seem to be something there. Not the feeble fruit that we want, but I thought I saw ourselves. Yes, indeed, a warped pendant, which is better than the child pendants by the look of it. Well, gives us a little bit of extra attack at the moment, a little bit of extra luck, but the defense multiplier could be better depending on how much defense we overall have. No rings got yet, so let's keep going. Is that a tent? Is there somebody in there? Ah, whatever it is, it's got glowing evil eyes of evil. A merchant lies in wait. 
Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. Psh, I wasn't frightened. Just surprised at the, uh, savings. Come on, let's talk to him. Sure thing. I don't mind a merchant. At the moment, we've got a little bit of cash. I've been expecting you, stranger. Who are you? Merely a friend with many wares for sale. Shall we conduct business? Okay, conduct business we shall. For well, the moment, it seems I can get myself some nice upgrades overall. That dull whetstone seems pretty good. Six more attack. Cotton vest is my current defensive item, is all I can have. A dull ring there. And shops catalog stuff as well. So I say let's buy ourselves some extra attack. Apart from that, a ring might not be too bad. It's two ring slots, but we'll take one for now. And we can buy food when and if we want it. Uh, before you leave, might I propose an offer? That would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold, you are not prepared for the journey ahead. I, however, can offer assistance. Please, accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I can offer you materials as well, though I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am not from around here, as I'm sure you've guessed by now. Once you've sold me a new material type, I will be able to restock my store with it. As for your reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Ah, he'll buy them at a high price. I... well, yes. Yes, I will. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. A little bit of Resident Evil there? All the same, I'm of course gonna go sell you my stuff if that's what's gonna get me some money and also open up more stuff in time, so... Let's sell you anything I have that you don't. Which, yes, the ticks are what's denoting it. Glass bottle. A bit of fret. A beast spear. And beast lever as well. We managed to get ourselves a bit more money. Most appreciated. The materials you've sold me will be quite useful. I'll attempt to restock them as time goes on. I also share my stock with other merchants. With our help, you will save valuable time collecting rarer materials. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. Well, sounds good to me. Quest completed, a new venture. We got ourselves a quest log there. We'll have to work out things. We got the map as well. There's an area downwards to go into. What the legends say? Okay, treasure. Plundered, save spots, shops, challenges, and destination. Well, challenges I'm interested in. Right, well, apart from that, we've bought ourselves some new items, so let's get that on to double our attack. And up our defense a little bit more. Nicely done, and we got ourselves a new blueprint on top of that, so it's time to find out where to use that at. But where am I going at the moment, up or down? Well, not that way, even though there's a mysterious key, or treasure key, and save point just beyond it. You've discovered a bomb fruit. Use a dust storm to pluck and guide the fruit. Okay then. So I guess where we are going is here. With that said and done, hmm, just wondering here, oh we came down from above, it'd be a long way away to get to that wall that we saw before, wouldn't it? Oh no, no, not long at all. Okay then. It's just, it feels like a long time because we've been talking to Mr. Merchant. Right, let's take it to that wall as well. See what's behind that. Come on, let's go! So picking you up and keeping going, it seems you keep track with me no matter what. Right, let's blow you up and see what's inside. More mysterious... Keys and wall chickens. I keep calling them mysterious keys because the mysterious wall chicken that keeps coming out. Okay, we got ourselves a fair few treasure keys for our trouble. Let's keep moving on. 
A little bit more attack power, a little bit more defense, better stats as a whole. That's the way we like to go about things. Hello, um... Yeah, I was about to say, can I pull the bomb over to just defeat these guys nice and fast? Here, is this a bomb? It's about to explode. Sorry about that. Alright, might need to remember... Oh, hey, hey. We're falling down here, but we need to take the bomb down here as well. Alright. Excuse me, guy. You can stay over there for now. I'm going to bring the bomb. Should be able to get it there nice and time. All right then, what's down here? Apart from more bomb fruits and some weird creature that just completely destroyed me, more or less. The rain's sweeping in here, and I may want to open it, but there's a really big nasty monster, which might be easier to deal with if we use that. Right, that thing, how much of my HP did it take? All the same, let's help you out, or let's find out what's beyond the wall first. Maybe there's more keys. I don't know how many keys I have at the moment. Alright, breaking through you hasn't got me anywhere, because there's a way down there. Do I have enough keys? It seems I might do. And this is a long chain, but... We saved Super Meat Boy, earning a permanent 5% health bonus. You can visit your friends in the sanctuary, accessible via the world map. A new region has been revealed. Well, I'm glad to have saved you there. The person who I think it is the person I'm thinking of. Weird. Right then, we'll save him and keep going. Try to get ourselves some more keys in the meantime. Oh, ow. I didn't seem you guys hurt me that much, and I seem to have brought along a bomb with me as well. Not bad. Right, where did you go, sir? I know you're down here after all, and no, stop hitting me! Well, permanent 5% health bonus is pretty good, especially when we start leveling up health as well. It seems I can't go downwards on the map, because, well, that's just a tunnel that we just can't seem to squeeze through at the moment. Maybe we'll get something like Samus's ball mode, I don't think so, but still. Let's keep trying to use grab moves to get through them. Oh, you actually got to be it? Nice. Nice and fast ways to beat them all. Farewell, monsters. With the extra attack, it seems we're cutting through them quite a lot faster. Right then, monsters. Hopefully we don't find any more of those weird monsters again, because that was nasty being hit then. Dust, there's something up there. Not a problem at all. Stand back. All right, I've got it. Wait, no. Oh. Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't get a good enough grip. Ah, you're just trying to show off. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. I'm sure we will. Coming back later. <laughs> Backtracking, it's kind of one of the things. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whatever you are, I don't like you. Whoa! Okay, you hurt a lot. Okay, we just beat you up and did something weird, but we got there. Okay. I got cornered there. Whatever they are, they hurt so much. Well, anyway, we got out of that. We used a lot of our feeble fruit to tap top us up. But I don't want to fight nasty monsters like that! Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful foe ahead of you. Don't worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. <sighs> ah, it's another one of those spiky slime things! Their persistence, I'll give them that. Much as I pity this corrupted beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Allow it to strike. Uh, sure, I guess. Hey, you dazed it! Attack and hold X at the moment of the enemy's strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counterattack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. 
And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, put this beast out of its misery. Seems like I got lucky then, but still. Okay, a crazy nice new attack. One for taking down strong monsters, it seems. I just got lucky before then. I see somebody over there. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fidget. Don't worry, I'll feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet. But, uh, I would appreciate that. Thanks. No problem. Hello, Cora. Oh, hello. You surprised me there. Don't get many travelers this far out of town. Sorry about that. It's nice to finally meet a friendly face. So we're getting closer to the village then? You mean Aurora Village? Yes. It's just beyond those fields to the east. And I think you might be just in time. What do you mean? The monster attacks down there have been getting worse. Right before you showed up, I'd swear I heard somebody shouting. She's right, Dust. I can hear somebody calling for help further down the path. Let's get going. Yes, please hurry. Be careful. Time to go rescue someone then. An autosave just before. Is this going to be some kind of hard encounter or something like that? Look! Please help us! Ah! Look at the size of that thing! Don't worry, I think I can handle it. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. Sure thing. Well, I'm gonna back off for the moment. Let's get rid of the small fry before we engage with the big stuff. Probably the best way to go about doing things. Are oh, the big guys coming? Oh, get away! Right, so we want to parry you, do we? There we go. As soon as we can break you down a little bit. Oh, no, no, not quite enough. There's another parry! Come on, break through him! Phew. No, wait! That's not all of them! Uh, here comes some more! I don't want more, especially if there's two of them more! And if the lightning comes in at nasty times there! Oh, get our parries in! The one solid hit it was enough to take me down for a revival stone usage. Well, there's one down. I wasn't expecting to take a strong hit like that, but man, okay then. One hit from a big monster can take me down on this difficulty then. Is that it? Did we get all of them? <sighs> yeah, I think that's it. Well done, Dust. You have proven yourself a worthy swords master, and none too soon. Bah, they weren't so tough. I could probably take on another four or five of them. You know, if I had to. And this was there. Oh, thank you so much. What happened here? I... I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end, Dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? Yes, I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Not a problem. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey, who are you calling weak? Well, you were a bit, but still, we got taken down and actually killed already. But thanks to the Revival Stone, we didn't have a proper permanent death. So man, let's hope for no other kind of big attacks like that. Should I put even more defense on? I'm thinking I might do, just at the moment. Even though my health isn't that high and my attack isn't that high, we should hopefully be able to level up soon enough 
to boost them up. Let's just go with defense for the time being and keep on moving forward though. Do you guys have anything else to say? We're still a little shook up, but I think we'll be fine. I just need to sit here for a while. <laughs> My leg still hurts. You should get to safety when you can. I cleared out quite a few. Did one of those... Well, I mean, not exactly. This old lug twisted his ankle running away from those monsters. Nice of you to stick around to protect your poor old wife. I was running to get help. Yeah, lots of help in the tool shed, I'm sure. What, you got a little army hiding in there? Maybe I should go. Oh, no, please don't get the wrong idea. I still love my husband, even if he is a coward. Bah! Oh, by yourself. I thought they were going to say the same thing again, but they said a little bit different that time. We got ourselves some experience for talking to them, it seems. Shops are restocked, but I'm going to end the episode here. We've taken on some gigantic foes, some giants, and actually managed to find out how hard this game might shape up to be on just the tough difficulty. One shot KOs, probably not a good thing. So we're going to have to up our stats even more. Defensive stat is looking tasty. More attack would be good. More HP would be good. So join me next time for more Dust and Elysian Tell. And I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.